How chilly is it for those pandas in Scotland? Yes, uh, chilly for them, chilly for us as well, Ben. We've got temperatures well below freezing and we've had some snowfall over the last uh, few hours affecting northeast England and eastern areas of Scotland and not just in the northeast of the UK. This was Cornwall uh, just earlier this morning with uh, some quite uh, thick snow on the ground. Now, take a look at this chart. You can see how unusual it is to see lying snow on the ground in November. The vast white areas across the UK are areas where we get one day or less of snowfall on the ground uh, in November. So it's very, very unusual, particularly so across the south. And Good afternoon. It has been a cold day so far. The temperatures last night down below zero, a widespread hard frost this morning, but cloudy skies as well, making it feel that little bit colder. But the cloud, for some at least, has broken. We've got a few sunny spells out there at the moment, and it will continue to break. Any remnants of that cloud should start to clear through this afternoon. Hello there. It's been a thoroughly cold day out there today. Temperatures for all of us really stuck in single figures and more of the same through the next few days. It stays cold, widespread overnight frosts expected and it will be wintry at times as well. Now overnight into Saturday, it's going to be another bitterly cold night. Temperatures for just about all of us well below freezing. So another widespread sharp frost. Again, some sticky patches of fog which could linger all day for some into Saturday. Another chilly day, slow recovery in temperatures into the new week. It is really chilly, a lot of snow about, isn't it? There is, and of course, last night we had the, well, the night before last, we had the coldest night for 13 years, November night, of course, which is important because by tomorrow we're into December. But yes, snow in the southwest, and usually so, Cornwall. And Devon, this is behind me, actually. This is in Devon. Uh, I know, <laughs> I know, just the southern coastal counties, and of course we've had it in the east. But if you think it's cold now, it's going to get colder. So let's have a look at what we've got coming our way. As I say, this was uh, from Dartmoor Pony. So high levels, but even the lower levels today across Devon and Cornwall had some snow as well. The temperatures tonight, probably a degree down on those of last night, which is why it's getting colder. They don't rise much by day. There's not much solar radiation strength at this time of year, but ice and snow, a real concern. And Helen, very frosty out there, isn't it? Very festive almost, Alison, as well. But of course it comes with its problems, doesn't it? We had a frost in central London in St James's Park last night, minus one, minus two tonight, even colder. And actually, it's going to get colder still Friday night, probably the coldest night, but staying chilly as we go through the weekend. These are the temperatures across the London region. So as I say, there's just this hint that these weather fronts are starting to make inroads from the Atlantic, but I think it's going to take into the middle of next week before we really do shift away that cold air. So cold and frosty again, but do watch out for some freezing fog and a few wintry flurries as we've seen as well, making it quite treacherously icy. See. Alison. Hello there. We've got several more days of this freezing cold weather to come before things potentially turn milder deep into next week. Now, today we've seen some fresh snowfall in the showers, East Scotland, North East England, and into parts of South West England. A couple of snowmen standing testament to the wintry weather conditions here in parts of Devon, for example. You definitely weren't lying when you said it was going to be cold, because it definitely is. Oh, it's freezing out there at the moment, and certainly very frosty and also icy. In fact, let's take a look at some pictures from earlier today. This was Cambridgeshire, first thing this morning, frosty grass, but certainly some beautiful, if not wintry sunshine, you could say. And as you know, there are snow in places, uh, particularly up towards the northeast and a couple of centimetres on the ground. But this, of course, will be turning icy as we head through this evening and overnight. But the sunrise this morning over Merseyside was also pretty nice. And we're going to see more sunshine as we head through the next few days, but certainly no heat to go with it. Let's take a quick look actually at our air mass chart as we head through the next few days. And uh, if we start off with the air mass chart, what you'll notice uh, is, oh, right, actually we've got the temperature chart here first. And as you can see, our overnight temperatures are still expected to be uh, down to uh, minus eight. So very cold indeed, but they do start to recover, albeit very slowly as you get towards Monday plus two degrees Celsius, still quite chilly and you will need the heating on. As for the air mass chart, well, let's take a quick look at that now. And as you can see, as we run that sequence, we are going to hold on to that cold air as we head through much of this week into the weekend. However, mild air will start to move in from the southwest, but it's going to be quite a slow process. You can see areas out towards the northeast are going to be uh, somewhat colder that bit longer. So still the chance of some frost, ice and perhaps some snow showers. In fact, talking of snow showers, let's take a look at where we've got warnings in place at the moment. And these do last as we head uh, through the overnight period into tomorrow. Snow and ice out towards the east, ice warnings out towards Northern Ireland and also the southwest.
So, yeah, definitely thermals out over the next few days and watch out for those warnings. It could be updated as we head through. But, yeah, it could be quite slippery first thing tomorrow morning, even where we don't have those warnings in place. OK, so everyone's got to be very careful. Yes. Alex, thanks very much.